Smash back and keep jumping. He can do it with anybody, really. Oh, yeah. It's easy with Yoshi. It's super frame, but still. Right, that is the situation, but here we go. Grand final, shout out to my boy Stu. We have 6WX playing on the winner's side. We have the great Gonzalez coming down from the bottom bracket. And it was actually 6WX who sent the great Gonzalez here. Yep, now, and, and he did it with Incineroar as well and some very clutch games, but but now Gans has a bunch of momentum going into the set after beating Beast and we'll have to see uh, what Wes is able to do after, after being Kind of, kind of on the sidelines while watching top eight all this time. Yeah, this is always one of those situations where because you made it to grand finals, you had to wait for all your opponents. Oh Sit down God. unless you got some cash. WX, and now he has a pretty solid lead. The great Gonzalez is going to have to pitch with the skill a little bit. That backer is going to uh, be a great start to it. 6WX looking absolutely powerful, jumping out the gate. That down there was done with authority. Let them know I put you in bottom bracket, and I'm going to put you down to the deep bracket. Yo, that should, that should be a thing. Deep bracket. Triple, triple elimination. Triple elimination. Oh, Who's no. about it? Oh, we're going to be here till 3 a.m., boys. Here we go. Bad idea. The PK Spark says, get it. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, back here pushing Palatina off stage. Let's talk about the distance he got with that back here. A 60% sent him to the center of the black, uh, off stage. That's ridiculous. That is, that is in fact ridiculous. But Wes, with all this percent, but no stocks taken for the Great Gonzalez at back throw, still not going to do it. And there you go. All right. Yeah, finally. Oh, my God. Just, just these one hit these one hit nares pushing Wes all the way to the ledge. Trying to get the two frame with the down tilt. Actually doing a lot of damage to him right now. Pushing him um, off stage, West. having an air dodge. Having a bit of difficulty in getting the recovery, getting started here. Back throw into the explosive flame, into the up air, not going to do it. See, this is what I love right now. Notice how Gaz is actually getting off stage. You know what? Just stay on stage. Just stay on stage. Play your game. Don't listen to me anymore, okay? Can you listen to me? You get sent to the deep bracket. Man, what? I don't want you in the deep bracket. Wes had the goofiest smirk when he landed that downer, man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, he's killing me. All right, Darkest Larry, that did so much percent. Man, someone get this guy in that Ogano Key Light. Right. Anyway. There you go, back air. Recovery coming through. Gonna make it to the ledge. Explosive Flame not gonna, not gonna find anything. Oh, Let's that's start. a... Whoa! That was a punish. That that could've hurt. Imagine if he just ran him for the Explosive Flame and got to the ledge. Quick belly flop. Clear your kids out the water. Yeah. I love that. Notice how he's always opting for a low recovery of cross chop unless he opts for cross chop coming through as an offensive option. Right, I, I like I like the darkest Larry right there. I think he was going for the lowland whip too, trying to catch it in the two frame. Look, now once again, Sinner are a gimpable character, so if Wes was in the stock, it is still a dangerous scenario for him to be in. Oh, okay. I like the idea, but uh, Nair lasted just a little bit too long. Alright, going for another Lowland Whip. Right now, Gonzalez is sitting at 141. Any bad mistake. He can't afford any mistake. Oh, Gonzalez needs boy. to be on point his entire time. Because one grab, one back throw, one back, one side smash is going to end the stock. But 74%, oh he is looking really good right now. But we've already been oh, in this situation before. The get up. Great air dodge from 6 rex to re-grab. Not gonna get not gonna find anything with it. This is uh, a situation where 6 we've seen throw, him. Up throw. All we've right. seen him not be able to get KO'd by the offenses of Gonzalez. How many times has he had him off stage going for a supposed to flame or fair and not securing a KO? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a scenario where he just has to beware. Man, they go to, did they nerf, um, buff Lil Max up B? No, they buff side B, though. Man, no. <laughs> Let him be an air fighter just for that. <laughs> All right, game number two. Can you, can't, Sinora, man. you can't help but feel like, why isn't he going nuts every single time? I think he, like, like in his mind, I think he knows that Ness, like, I, I kind of believe this too. I feel like Ness is going to fall off again over time, kind of like he did in Smash 4, where in the beginning he was very hyped up, and then as the meta progressed, he fell, off, he fell lower and lower on the tier list. So this I might mean, be and I understand here. that fair of your character being nerfed, but you are in the here and now. If you know that your Ness is getting you really good results, then why aren't you bringing it out? Imagine how much Ness could just abuse Incineroar. That shield is obliterated. 
Palutena has the ability to do that too, but I feel like if Palutena isn't on the same level that his Ness is. Is that exactly where, I, where the issue is? You have to play to your strength as a player. And clearly his strength lies in Ness. I believe, I believe you. But I, I feel like the mentality here for Gon is like, maybe, I mean, I mean, like he, he's doing a lot of things I've never seen Palutena's do as well. Like he's doing a lot of things really well, but, but he's not, Normal getup is not one of them. I, I, I loved how he did that with Incineroar. I, I mean, with Palutena, how he stood up and got a low limb whip to Oblivion. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. I, like, I like that. That was really cool. Best play of the night, man. Avoiding this both of flame with the cross chop. Using those super armor frames to get the heck out of there. All right. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Gons does not want to approach this hey, at Gons, all. Hey, Gons, fun fact. He doesn't have to approach here. Yeah, neither of them do. But the thing is, he doesn't want to deal with revenge, so he's just waiting for West to pick the option. That did so much. That did so much for saying. And that was a soft to the Darkest Slayer. Here. All right, good wherewithal trying to catch the revenge, trying to catch the revenge of the explosive flame. Air dodging through the second one again. Yeah, Gons. Not, not wanting to challenge the center off stage. He's scared. I don't want to say he's scared, but he's like. Uh, I want to say he's scared. All right, you're right. He, he's scared of the recovery. I, I'll be honest. I, I call it as I see it, and there's a lot of fear coming out from the guys in this play right now. Fortunately, 6 ABS allows him to get three bad throws on him. The third one going to do the trick. It ended up tying this game up in stocks, only sitting at 33% and taking the lead after a dash attack. Grab from Great Gonzalez, gonna push West off the level, but. And some great recovery from JXWX. No down tilt uh, we found there. Surprisingly, the down tilt's very active. I thought uh, a double jump recovery would have definitely been good by that. Yeah, attacking from too high is going to cause false top to lose all that explosive damage on landing. That's what just cost WX that stock right there. Guns out looking pretty good into the second game. Matter of fact, did he just take out that entire stock only taking 16% of damage? Something like that, yeah. Did not take that much. That's insane. 6WX is definitely playing a different game right now. We've seen 6WX opt for a cinema in 20 years of the game. Because he has a whole set to play with, do you think that we'll see him um, stick with the cinema for his entire set? It, it depends on what he's able to what he's able to get done in this game. I, I, perhaps if he brings it down to one stock, then maybe we won't see the Sonic come out. But I feel like if oh wow, basic parry. But if, if we see if we see Gans take the stock within the next like 30 seconds, I I feel like we might see it. Soon. But but you're right. It, it, he could he could wait on it since he does have a set to play with, and he has beaten this Palutena with this character before, so I wouldn't be surprised. Wow, what a neutral air. That belly flop, kids out the pool. Oh. A for it. A bit of an S uh, he tried. Yeah, a bit of an unfortunate SD. A for sure. effort. Effort results. <laughs> that was a really bad option for 6WX. It really is We're just putting on a lot of edge guarding. Unfortunately, falling a little bit too low below the stage and not able to recover with his cross chop. Yeah. So, so, 6 might go Sonic this game. He might wait on it a little bit. But... Oh, the Yoshi's Island counter pick? Yeah, yeah, we're getting Sonic. We're definitely getting Sonic. We saw him do this before, but we also saw how much damage he did with this Sonic when he did this what? switch. Oh? Uh, are we going to stick with the Incineroar? Yeah, we are. Okay. Oh, he went to the white skin this time. The red and white. It's clean skin, man. Yeah. Incineroar has really good skins in general. He does. A lot of the skins in this game look way better than the Smash 4 counter. I prefer being Cap. Yeah, we're gonna get the revenge right there on deck. 22% off the bat, 35. Belly flop again, put him at 48. Belly flop again, connecting. No way! <laughs> <laughs> Palutena is a lady, uh, okay? She says, I don't wanna step in the water. I'm gonna use your body to get <laughs> over this. That's insane. Oh, there seems to be a puddle here. Allow me to place my fur coat on the ground so you may right? walk on it. Yo, it's absolutely skinned in Cinnabar. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is super unfortunate for Wes. And, if, and since we didn't see Sonic the last game, we are definitely going to see it now. Yeah, that was a really bad scenario for him. Although Revenge backdrop or back throw doing a lot of damage for him. And still, 6WX, even with the stock deficit, is opting to go off stage. Looking a little bit better for West now. 
Uh, obviously, he's still down by a bunch. And Palutena, a character that really good in the corner, but let's we'll see what he's able to get accomplished here. All right, quickly at the blow ball stage down there, and just like that, since the US is back in the game, he said, listen, your footstool is accidental. This down here is done with the utmost disrespect. Oh, yeah, Come no. On. So you're going to step on me, I'm going to stop on you. Check Basically. It. Check it. And now you got this pedicure, bless up. Oh. oh, my goodness. You got the cleaners down there. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, what? How do you avoid that tornado? Real stuff, though, Palutena needs a haircut. Say again? Real stuff, though, Palutena needs an haircut. Oh, she does. It's going all the way down to the back of her leg. Exactly. You know? Let her walk out with her heavenly glory. She's even, is even green here. It's full anime. You're right. Let her braid that bad boy. That's actually Bianca Belair. Rustling, rustling character. In any case, here we go. Stocks are even 70% to 25 in 6 WX's favor here in game 3. Currently 1 1 in games. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Whatever gets the dub, all right? <laughs> Yo, fall off Dularia, you go up the ball. That, that's actually, an, that's a real option. This is a, uh, um, okay. He, he, he could actually do that and still this make cat, it back. This cat got fixed. He, he fearful. Or... Fix Kitty. This is what happens when you get your cat fixed, man. You just don't have the same gusto as anybody else. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's one of those things where you feel like you blocked the first hit. Oh, great enjoy. I didn't even see the animation. Yeah. There, there was no jump. It was just belly flop in your face. Belly flop. How about her? Even, even 6WS was like, I don't know what happened there. I don't know how that killed. I don't know. I ain't going to get mad because, you know, my victory is mine. I, I'm, I'm going to take the W, but I, I don't know, know how I man. did it. I don't know what happened there. But let's talk about the quick reversal on that situation. 6 uh, WX lost that stock to a footstool early. Stay composed. Stay focused. Got two really disrespectful KOs, and then just took that last one back with pure fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Like we saw him just avoiding all the aggressive options from 6 WX, playing his game properly. Yeah. From Gonzalez, I shouldn't mean. So it's a situation where I, I think the better player just prevailed in that situation. Six hundred X has been around for a long time. Six, six hundred X is honestly just playing super well today, and in a lot of situations, it's kind of just like outplaying Gons on the ledge, or or at least uh, like like recovery wise, it's kind of outplaying Gons when Gons is looking for like some very specific options when, while he's recovering and. He, and since, uh, since Gons is really only looking for the same couple of things, Wes is able to calculate around that and uh, is it usually able to recover it. Dark 6WX has gone out. He chose the, the darker skin out here. But still, he may want to go back to the light side, my dude. Like, you ain't... See, we had, we had that question earlier. I think we have our answer. Yeah, we do. It is extra. Yeah, yeah, you got to you gotta preempt it a little bit. Because he, he, has, uh, he grabs the ledge for the hitbox for counter comes out. It's actually really crazy, but it also makes it really safe for us to do that towards the ledge. Also, shout out to Six W X his geometry degree. Yeah, Knowing exactly what the angles are, so that way he can get back to the ledge. Why does up B? Wow! D P. Wow! That is crazy. Man, getting the pop up from the up B initiation is destroying that stop. Going for it down here in all situations. Boar. Boy. Boar. <laughs> Complete roast move right there. I, I I honestly wish he said that for every single one of his moves. And that back air is going to finally seal the stock for Gons. At 69. Nice. Nice. Any, any KO at 69% should just be set with nice. <laughs> like, no, like, like, like the sound that the hit makes is just nice. nice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Or the game just says it when it gets KO'd in the, in the voice of uh, said character that got hit by it. Alright, 6WX is a little claw shop happy, but that down to the up here, almost securing that stock. One more will definitely do it. Or an active Lariat coming out of nowhere. Darkest Lariat, great at low percents. Back throw. Oh! There you go! That's it. how you cut that cross chop off! Okay, Unfortunately, that, that up that, air. That, that's not how you cut that cross chop up. Nah, he tried. I mean, he had the right idea. It worked before, but he had to be a little too soon. Back air. Oh no! Uh, 
You hate oh, to see it. Well, the geometry not there from that see? time. And now we're at an even game. That's what happens when you cast your cat. Suddenly, like, don't listen to Bob Barker. Don't get your cat spayed and neutered. He said, don't listen. Because then you get a cat like a Cinnabar being silly with his moves. <laughs> don't do that. I'm kidding. Do that. This is a joke. Ball cut. Trying to go for the up air string, not able to connect a, a second one. But down throw the fair is going to give 650 as the lead. 79 to 71%. Oh! That was super dangerous for 670X, and he's going to have to recover low here. Does have his jump. Uh, I would stay away from any and every edge guard option. 60X needs to close the stock out. Y'all go home. Ray Gonzalez wins this. That's it! Not, not quite, not quite. Ray Gonzalez wins this, and what we're going read. into a game five for him to try and take this to a set two. Was it trying to end it, but it's not going to pan out. The air dodge misses the re grab. Ray Gonzalez in a bad position, but is going to get that back air. West oh! Yeah, that's going to do it. We're on wow. game five. Clutching it out. You know what I like about them? This entire time Gonzalez has been on stream, we have been seeing him clash and miss the air dodges. That is the one time he got ahead of the air dodge and it secured him the, the game. Great stuff, man. <laughs> you, you're going to get that one out of you, but <laughs> I'm just I'm just really impressed that Gonzalez definitely stepping out of his own patterns and is not just trying to always go for a down throw fair, but predict it where he's going to go. Who are the next most of flame right there secured him into a game five? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm not sure where we're even going to get the counter pick going. Um, like, Gon's winning that game means is most likely going to stay Palatine. I mean, we know it's not Poker Flows. Yo, Hannibal F um, FD? Yo. Omega Hannibal? Yo, real rap. Yo, yo. Do, do Omega, Omega Gore Plains, you will know our names? I, I was going to say, if we did Omega Hannibal, do we have, like, an overlay that'll put us in the background? Oh, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. That'd be that actually would be dope. <laughs> Oh, she is thinking. <laughs> oh, we might <laughs> have to time. do Next that. time. Next time. For, like for, for a bottom bracket match, yeah, that, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Man. Not in grand finals, but that, that's something to put in the back pocket. Oh, that yeah, dope. absolutely. Just stand over there, the lord of it, kind of like um, MVC3. <laughs> oh, no, Galactus in the background. Oh. That'd be dope. But all right, here we go. And even though he just won that match, he is going to be swapping to Nuts. I will see that every time Gonzalez has finally swapped the nest, it has secured him a really quick victory. Is this going to be the catalyst for Gonzalez to take this into a set, too? Yeah, we'll have to see here, but it's looking like a little bit of a strong start for Wes. Just kind of running outside the range of PK fire, jumping over it. No, knows how to just avoid options like that. Oh, dang. I mean, he may be fighting Ness, but this cat sure ain't no punk. Nope. Is that the word I want to use? But you know what? We got to keep it PG. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's a dead zone at the very beginning. It's really unfortunate stuff, but oh my god, there's just the PK fires coming through. Yeah, but just like that, he worked his back to a 63% lead for himself. Nice, getting out of there just enough to land with the sidestep. I mean, he still got killed for his troubles, mm -hmm. but it was a nice idea. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get the nair. Uh, it seemed like a bit of a misinput to me, but I don't know. I'm just calm too. Alright, going for the ledge, trying to get the ledge drop, but Ness gets off it. This is bad. Yeah, that, that's bad, bad. I feel like if Gonzalez was a little bit more careful with how he's facing out his 2K Thump Fires, he could rack up a little bit more. Mm, I agree with that. Like, just wait half, maybe a quarter of a second more. I don't know, just theory crafting on commentary. Back throw. That is a stock. Two, but the two strongest kill throws in the game are on our screen right now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Since WX is currently sitting at 99%, meanwhile, Gonzalez is at 12 on his second stock. And that PK fire is absolutely the bane of uh, 6 WX's existence. Yeah, like, he, he's avoiding it pretty well most of the time, but whenever he commits to an option, he just gets tagged by it. The best part is that 6 wx is rewarding most of the punishes from the new part in the PK fire. I think that's where most of the mileage is going to be coming from. Great air dodge. Going to get the back throw here. Put him off the stage. Got max rage here. Any aerial that they connect will probably kill. Oh, trying to catch him with the down smash. Not going to pan out, though. Trying to walk the dog all over the cat. Is the second jump still online? 
Ooh, wow, amazing recovery from 6WX is not letting himself die. That was just great. Yeah, but, but the, the outplay back throw is going to take that stop. All right, quick fair stream coming out from Ness. Not getting too much for his troubles, but 6WX is now on the prowl. Getting into an animal instincts. Oh, but caught the jump from Legend. That's going to be the stock. All right, here we go. Last stock for both players. Last stock of the set for both players. It's WX. He is the winner of tonight's code name Bears. But if the the Great Gonzalez wins, we are moving into a set two. Already has a 50% lead as well. Great, perfect shield on the incoming PK Fire. Not able to get much from it, but it looks cool. All right, great back here for from 6WX. There. No hey. way, no way, huh? Wow. What? Oh, yikes, oh. guide. Oh, pain, wow. suffering, the game defeat, depression. Gone. The game is gone. Sadness. The game is gone. Anger. The game is gone. Confusion. The game is gone. Debauchery. <laughs> and Cinnabar <laughs> indeed! Oh, uh, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> wow. What the hell? What a, what a downer, man. And Cinnabar, man. That's a, that, 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 that is a counter pick, counter pick. You a scary cat. All right, I love cats. <laughs> you a scary one. You a real one, though. I need you to hop off the voice. Uh, he said, ah. <laughs> oh, man. Play, playing like 99% cat today. Wins the whole tournament. 6WX looking clean, man. Two, two games? Only two. And they, and they were all tournament saving situations, correct? Well, in winner's bracket. All right. Oh yeah, Enzo, yep. Yeah. Yep. So almost an all Incineroar run for a 6WX right here. Mm -hmm. This is why you pick your character. Stick yeah. with your character. Stick with the characters you want to play, man. Like, What's your thoughts on Incineroar right now? Hey, I'll talk to the mic. So, uh... For some reason, I really love Incineroar. Uh, this, like, right it's when the, the yeah, it's maybe when the f game first came out, I was just playing around with in friendlies with people in Philly, and and uh, f when I picked Incineroar, you know, I was just playing, and I kept running through the room, like winning 20 games straight or something like that. I was like, for some reason, I really like this character, just, just, and. Just. And yeah, I kept playing them, but after a while, I even though Incineroar actually never really failed me in tournament, except for when I failed, I messed up against Juice and Wart. But but yeah, um, it was just that after a while, I was like, dang, his recovery really does suck though. Like I can't, I can see where this is going, so I ended up stopped playing him. But after the buffs, I feel like Incineroar is a real character now. Like as you can see, I can mix up my recovery really yeah. well and come back after going yeah. deep. That I, it, that goes OT far it's, now, man. It's awesome. It's crazy. It's, it's perfect. Now, it reminds me a little bit like Cloud from where Cloud had a bad recovery, but he still came back all the time. And right now, I feel like I can edge guard with Incineroar. I can uh, come back. I can look. Yeah. 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 So he upgraded from Little Mac tier to like Smash 4 Ryu tier for me. Oh, now, that's how oh, the, they, oh, yeah. that, that's actually, that, 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 that's, that's a big leap. When I saw that recovery buff, I was like, and I felt it, and I realized I can let go of the ledge, f drop down nares and back airs, and then make it back. I was like, all right, this is okay. a character now. I'm wow. Like, this, and, so this is the man who yeah. picks a character that fit right, right for him, but tear lift be damned. Pick the character best for him. And is yep. rocking out. He just won a tournament going almost all in Cinnabar. 